Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Brave for Work, back in here with another video. Hey, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because around here, we breed champions. Hey, just watch my videos. The proof is in the pudding. And if you already been around, hey, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, what we got in store is um, how to breed perfect horses. Um, I've been getting comments and... um. Not not just comments, but I'll also go to the community page of um, Rival Stars Horse Racing on Facebook. And I see a lot of people are having trouble breeding perfect horses. A lot of people are starting to quit the game because they can't breed perfect horses. But, hey, not only do we breed perfect horses, we breed champions around here. I've bred a lot of champions throughout this, um, throughout my YouTube career. And I have plenty of videos breeding perfect horses right before you guys' eyes. And I'm pretty sure it's mostly new people coming to ask uh, how to breed new horses. So um, for everybody that's new or everybody that's going to discover the channel, make sure y'all hit that like button so more people could discover uh, how to find these perfect horses or, or how to breed these perfect horses. So first things first, guys, um, what you guys want to do is clear your stalls. Now, me, I have 23 pasture spaces and 23 stalls, and I still sell horses like it's nobody business. I have the space, but I still get rid of these horses. You guys got to stop having this, oh, she's so pretty, he's so pretty, he's so beautiful, oh, my heart, oh, this is just the, no, sell the horse, sell the horse. If the horse, if, you, if you're not racing that horse on, for your story mode, if you're not breeding with that horse, get rid of the horse. The only time you should have a horse in your stall is if it's one of your horses that you're racing in the live time trials and for your story or horses that you're going to breed with. Don't keep horses that you guys are not going to use. You know what I mean? Just get rid of them. We don't, you know, the, all this. I, look, I sold Tiz. I sold my horse Tiz a lot. And, and y'all know I love Tiz. And, and I had to let him go. I almost cried, y'all. But all that sentimental stuff, you got to kick it out the window. This is a business, and we run it like a business. These, This is bread for war stables, and we're trying to breed for war. We're trying to get these perfect horses. So first order of business is sell everything you're not using. And now, guys, for step two, um, we're going to get into your breeding stalls. Have your stalls ready to target what you want. Know what you want. If you want a perfect grade seven, you need to have you a, a tier 11 stall. If you want a perfect grade nine, you need to have you a tier 20 stall, right? Whatever horse you want, you have to have that stall. So it's not smart to upgrade all your stalls. See, my last stall is still on grade three. Why? Because I don't have enough perfect grade three horses. I'm going to get some and I'm going to show you guys in this video but right now i'm targeting grade three because i know for a hundred percent fact i'll get a grade three horse out of this stall i could still get two but um i would never target a two uh it wouldn't make any sense um archie is going to be my only most likely is going to be my only grade two horse ever i don't really care about grade two prizes so guys like i said have these stalls ready to target what you want. Um, if I upgrade this stall, I'm going to be able to uh, target fours and then fives. So right now I'm targeting threes. Then I'm going to target fours. Then I'm going to target my fives. Once I feel comfortable with the horses I breed, then I'm going to uh, upgrade this stall to give me uh, to have me targeting grade six horses. So this stall, I'm going to target grade sixes. This one, I could target grade six right now, but I'm going to change it to seven. So this is going to be my grade seven stall. And then um, this next one is seven, but I'm going to make it my uh, grade eight stall. And then this one is already my nine. So I'm going to be able to target six, seven, eight, nine. Now I'm already going to have my perfect threes, fours, and fives. But from, from here on now, for the rest of the game and the rest of the duration, we want to target six, seven, and eight because you get the best prizes from grade six, seven, and eight, uh, and nine horse races. Those are where you get the best prizes. Really, anywhere from um, two to five, those prices are just, eh, 
they high. You know what I'm saying? So, guys, have y'all stars ready? Know exactly what you want. Target your threes, fours, then fives. Do not upgrade your stars and 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 be messed up. Actually, let me go ahead and show you guys an example. So here we are at the um stars. So here is my um tier five stars where I'm targeting my grade three. So I got my level six stud and I got my grade three horse. So it don't matter which stud I use, no matter what level, no matter what horse or stud I use, it, I'm going to get a three. Now, if I breed with a three, it might be 50 50 that I get a 50 per actually, yeah, 50 percent chance that I get a three, and then I could also get a 50 percent chance at a four. And, but look, here's the thing when you upgrade your stall and now you try to breed with your three, you're not going to get a perfect three. You can't target a three because it's a 78 percent chance that no matter what that the horse is going to come out as a four no matter what you keep upgrading it let's say you'll, you upgrade your tier all the way to 20 and you want a, a perfect grade three it's only a 15 percent chance you even get a grade three you know what i'm saying and then on top of that what's worse is your grade four horse is going to have terrible stats because a grade three horse is not going to provide a grade four horse with stats that's you know great even though we're using the um a grade seven stud now it's possible but it's not likely guys so just don't make that mistakes have y'all stalls ready have y'all targets ready know what you need know what you want get your stalls in order do not upgrade too many times now let's get to step three and step three is having the right horses to breed breed with the right horses and breeding with the right horses is going to be breeding with almost perfect stats and um I'll have the list up for you guys right here. So 60 is the perfect stats for grade seven. And um, so this is going to be an ideal horse to breed with. I like to call this fishing. You take a bad horse and you breed it with the horse with good stats. Let me go ahead and show you guys an example. So we have a grade six um, mare right here. The stats are horrible. We know we need 57 across the board. So what we do is we breed with a stallion that's two grades higher, knowing that we're not going to get a perfect horse, but we're just going to get a grade six with better stats. And you do this over and over and over again until you get a horse with good stats. It'll happen eventually, guys. If you get a better mare, switch the mare to the better mare and keep switching it to the better mare. But in the case that you get a better stallion, then you switch to the stallion now you have to use a better mare and use a grade higher or two now we need 57 across the board right so this horse has 56 57 56 we can go ahead and use one grade higher because it don't need to jump that high but like i said guys you got a horse with bad stats you breed it with two grades higher but always make sure you're targeting your sixes and getting that grade higher and it just vice versa back and forth you switch the stallion use the better stallion use the better mare and always breed a grade or two higher and you do that until you reach desired results when you have a, a horse that's pretty close you no longer have to use two grades you can use one grade and that's one grade above whatever grade you're using now guys i'm going to do some live fish right here so we have this bad stallion right he's his he's 50 53 50 now for grade five, you need to be at 54. So I need another better grade five stallion, right? So, you know, we just go fishing for it. We breed with a uh, two grade tiger. We did a um, we did a seven and we did a six. So let's go ahead and check out the six first. And um, like I said, we just want a better stallion. We don't even know what we're going to get here. And um, so we get the grade six this is a loss you got to take it's just a loss you got to take uh and you know you just keep trying like i said it's all about percentages and also guys i don't know if you guys noticed but it's a 60 percent chance that every foal is a mare i mean not a mare a filly and it's a 40 percent chance that every uh foal is a colt so it's 60 40 for mares you'll always have more mares than you'll have um then you'll get a uh, stallion so that's why stallions are uh, low key special. Now look, guys, we just fishing here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
smack that like button y'all guys this is what we're looking for right here we just went to go get a better horse like so okay so guys look you seen how i had a bad stallion my stallion was 50 53 50 and i said you just keep breeding that horse with uh with uh two grades higher and then you'll eventually i got it on my first try you guys might not be so lucky to get it on your first try but eventually your guys gonna get a better grade five uh horse right in this case i got a better grade five philly so with that being said all i have to do is breed this philly that's almost perfect with the grade six stallion or grade seven stallion and i guarantee you guys this philly right here will be the mother of a perfect champion that's going to be bred on this channel um right now guys oh my god this horse is amazing so 53 in acceleration but acceleration get plus three which mean it's plus two if it was considered if one of these bonuses was considered a stat for acceleration oh my god this this horse is a champion if you guys don't have champions you guys need to take care of this uh foe and and, and and take care of it until it's an adult and race it so you can at least win now but you guys still want to perfect or, or target perfect um just in case i'm not going to um be taking care of this foe i already have a a half way perfect fallen baby bird um i don't want two non-perfect fives trained all the way up i'm not gonna waste the resources so i will be using this horse to breed now um let me go ahead and show you guys two matchups that I, i've did right so we have broken token who's already a perfect horse you know what i mean and then we have circus choir who has bad acceleration we jump three generations up and then on top of that this horse is almost already perfect in the first place 48 48 46 so that's going to be a great pair and then i did broken token and um i did logical lightning now remember broken token is a perfect grade six as far as racing goes logical lightning is just one grade above one way to get perfect horses is to use a horse that's already perfect with a grade above and um that ended up being the case so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what ended up happening with those pairings yes sir yes sir guys we get a perfect grade three philly from broken token i told you guys i wanted his reign to last forever now guys this horse right here has 48 48 48 it's a perfect racing horse it's not a perfect riding horse we don't care about no riding horses we only care about the racing horse so um let's go ahead and check the horse out real quick it ended up being a middle horse very hard uh 2000 meters now guys this horse is a perfect horse from broken token i told you guys in the last video what i'm gonna do and i did it everybody who's been around for the for a long time every time i say i'm gonna do something what do i do i do it y'all go ahead and smack that like button for this perfect middle grade three racing horse and I honestly don't mind this horse being um middle because I already have a perfect uh grade three that's also very hard, but it's a front horse. So um if I really don't like the middle, I would still have this horse, and on top of that, I'm gonna have uh the front horse as well. But as you guys check the pedigree, you guys see broken token is even though I didn't show you guys the breeding video, you guys see the uh Broken token, dead sire, this mare. And then um, look at all my grade three horses right now. Um, Rumbling Zenith is, isn't a perfect, but she's still a champion. She just missed the mark with that 47. But my grade three lineup is looking pretty nice. I got a back, middle, front, very hard. I need some perfect soft threes. I'm going to get two more perfect soft threes, and then I'll be done with my grade threes. Now, let's go ahead and look at this grade six that I targeted with... Uh, broken token yes sir yes hey we really get the belly rub that's what i'm yes sir let's go smack that like button y'all we get a belly rub 
perfect belly rub grade six racing horse baby from broken token the legacy will continue broken token can retire now in peace knowing that his kids gonna take over the reins you know what i'm saying hey y'all look i got this on my first i got two perfect horses on my first two tries trying to make this video for you guys it is possible i know you guys don't really be getting y'all perfect horses but like i said um i did this pretty faster than what i thought i would do but i'm just saying guys it's it's possible it's all about uh you know having an almost perfect horse or a perfect horse and breeding it with another horse that got better stats so now that i have a perfect grade six in this horse like i could literally breed this grade six with another stronger stallion and i can keep on creating perfect grade sixes so i'm very excited about having this horse and also having broken token being um the sire now for those of you that are new broken token is the first perfect horse i ever obtained on this game the first ever perfect horse that i ever got so i'm super super excited that the first ever had two perfect horses of his own and i just want to go over to the pedigree because i missed um recording it but you guys can see broken token is the sire of this here perfect grade six and once i get her uh trained all the way up to 30 we're going to see if she can continue the legacy. And now, guys, I told you guys I want a perfect soft horse for the uh, for grade three. So I want two very soft, soft, um, medium, maybe. No, nah, we gonna have we, we need at least a soft horse. And we used Morpheus to breed with our already perfect. Wow. Her first foal is a perfect yes sir like i said y'all hey we breed champions around here this is this is normal this is normal like i can get on here and breed perfects all day for y'all um i do need to go a little bit more into detail which i would do in the future video but this is just the gist of you know how to breed perfect uh horses and um like i said you guys gotta follow those steps if you guys don't have a horse with good stats you guys are going to have to um, go ahead and uh, breed a horse with better stats. Like I, I, I did an example with my grade fives and I actually went fishing and got that uh, better grade five. So that five will, I don't have stalls to target five, so I can't use it. Even though I went fishing and got what I wanted. But um, I showed you guys with the grade threes. I, I, I showed you guys with the grade uh, six but look we get another almost perfect right here this, like i'm saying guys um once you use your perfect horses you'll be able to breed other perfect horses like crazy so um in one of my next videos i don't know if it's gonna be my next video but it's gonna be very 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 soon i'm gonna breed those two perfect soft grade threes and then i'm gonna move on to grade four and um when i do that i'll be able to sh show you guys another breeding video on how to get perfects every time i upgrade my stalls i'm gonna show you guys how to get perfects i'm gonna show you guys how to get perfect fours how to get perfect fives and then um we already got a perfect six but i'm gonna show you guys how to get those i kind of cheated today because i was using already perfect horses to get my perfect horses and um i need to show you guys a better method but i was just working with what i had in my stalls and giving you guys the idea of what to do but um questions comments concerns you already know what to do get in the comment box it's your boy breath for war i'll catch y'all on the next video i'm out